Hey, uh, can I move your camera, Steve, or is that just to help me kind of... That needs to stay right there. Oh yeah, that's gonna, that's a money shot right there. Missouri River Expo gets Ooh, like 50,000 people over the course of two days. It's always middle of September, Ponca State Park, which is in Northeast Nebraska. So much fun, especially for the kids. But really fun for the whole family. What do you think, Rye? That'd be a cool school outfit, first day of school right there, don't you think? Totally. This is a sweet hat. Do you think I could wear that to an NDSU yeah, Bison same. game? Yeah, it's me. Put that right on there. Yeah. I'm doing an exhibition show over here at 3.30. Oh, I, yeah. should, I should wear that while doing it. Hey, that'd that'd yeah. be quite the show, wouldn't it? That could be a great yeah. band instrument. Look at this. This is what we should have in music class right here. We have just started the day and we're learning so much, ladies and gentlemen. Moving on. Would you like to pet him? Yes. There you go. What kind of snake? A fox snake, a western fox snake. Look at this crappy display. Get it? Is it real? Rubber replicas. Rubber replicas. What fun is that? That last booth. That was just a bunch of crap. That one? Yeah. <laughs> Show me. Of all the things we've seen, that booth rocks the most. How does it compare to the crab here? It rocks. <laughs> so when you're at the Missouri River Expo, you never know what Gould relatives you're gonna run into. <laughs> this is Dennis and Aretha Gould, which Dennis would be my dad's first cousin, right? Yeah. Missouri River Expo is almost a little bit like a mini Gould family reunion. Yeah. Kind of like a homecoming for you. Yeah, I love it. Back to the roots. It's awesome. So this is kind of cool because my son Ryland is down at the very end. These are actually distant cousins of his, and he doesn't even know it. Oblivious down there at the end. <laughs> An 1885 Parker Brothers number 10 side by side. This one's cool here. I like this. Who is that? Put it in the comments down below. What you looking at there? I don't know. This is a one-eyed horse. One-eyed horse? Yeah. Probably something you won't see in any any places. Would be my All kinds of craziness here at the Missouri River Expo. <laughs> okay, Ryan. What kind of turkey do you think this is? Tom. It is a tom, but of what species? We have different species of turkeys. Well, look at the tail feathers here. This is an Eastern, right? You shot an Eastern. Really? This looks like a Miriam. You know what I was thinking of these, Rye? These look like just like the deer I shoot, don't they? Uh, sure. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Uncle Aaron shoots all the big deer, right? Yeah. For those of you that don't know, in 2012, I believe it was, Aaron shot a 240 and 1 8 inch 21 point buck. Quite the beast, a buck of a lifetime. Me? Not so much on the big deer. Rylan, who are you with today? Tell us who this is. This is my cousin, Easton. All the way down from Northeast Nebraska, right? Yes. Hey, look at that. <laughs> is that my cue? Uh -huh. I heard you talking. How are you doing, Matt? Doing good, how are you? Good to see you guys. Doing well. Make a little vlog video. Oh, this is Matt Stutzman. You got a show today? Yeah. yeah what two, time? Two o'clock. Two o'clock, the armless archer. When's your show? 3.30, I think? See, that's when you need to go to, the 3.30 hey, one. Yes. Some days. What's your channel name? Uh, Ghoul Brothers is one of them. Yeah, we do shotgun trick shots. I do archery stuff, archery trick shots. But he ain't got no arms, so how does he shoot a bow? How does that work? A robot arm? A ro <laughs> that sounds, I would never miss if I had a robot arm. This is how he shoots a bow right there. With my feet. How's that even possible? He's got more talent in his left foot than I got in my right arm, man. Yeah. I really did want to meet a YouTuber one time. Matt, do you have a YouTube channel? No, I just do Facebook. And on the Facebooks? On the Facebook. Great Bye -bye. to see you guys. Yeah, good to see you We'll as see you in a little while. Yeah, for sure. We'll see you down there. Oh, nice. So if you're really good, hit that red disc. One way back. This is one of my favorite things to do at Missouri River Expo. It's the Addle Addle Range. But check this out. You got a spear with a long handle. Oh, right in the belly. Whoa! 
Got him a little bit back of the heart, but I think I got vitals. What are we doing, Rye? Little slingshot rock action. Let's see it, boy. him I guess. <laughs> Trigger pull on that one's a little bit tough. Back that away they actually got shotguns you can shoot as well but I guess everybody's hungry. What are we gonna eat boys? Got any ideas? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. We got muzzle loading going on right over there. That's super cool. I just watched the kids shoot a muzzle loader for the first time. So many experiences that these kids can get for the very first time. Whether it's shooting 22s, pellet guns, BB guns, shooting bows at stationary targets, shooting bows at flying targets, throwing atlatls, throwing hatchets, shooting shotguns. And we're just down on the lower level. We're gonna grab food, set up for the show. <laughs> Sleeping. Check this out, we got Matt Stutzman performing right now. Let's go get some shots of this. Super cool, the armless archer. Nice. So almost set up for the show. We got about 10 minutes before showtime. Pretty much there. How many years have we been at the Missouri River Expo? Oh gosh, this has got to be six, seven. Something, Something like that. that. Always a ton of fun. Just a, a fun event as you've probably seen so far in this video. Great one that we actually love to bring our families down to and been talking a little bit about family history. Our dad was actually, when he was born, lived in Newcastle, Nebraska. Yeah, that's only like 10, 12 miles from the Missouri River Expo here at Ponca State Park. Our great, great, great grandpa. Something like that. Frederick Theodore Carl Christian Gould uh, actually came here. And a lot, of the, a lot of Goulds homesteaded here and the family's grown. Our part of the family moved up to Minnesota, but we still have a ton of family here. It's just a ton of fun to come down here and not only get to perform at this awesome event, but then to get to connect with family. Just down the road too at the cemetery, like a lot of, we got a lot of Gould ancestors lineage yep. in the cemetery. So it's always super cool to come down here, visit with even our extended family, like third cousins that we've got to meet down here and got to know really well. In fact, I see them off in the distance. Hey cousins! So you would be our dad's, are you cousin, first, first, first cousin? cousin? Yeah. Still. Another first cousin, yeah. <laughs> what do you got to say about our dad? Was he a good He's a good great, cat? fantastic cousin. Is we your love, dad on there? Is that what he's listening to? He, he'll what? eventually see it. Oh, okay, yeah. I feel. He, supposedly <laughs> he watches all of our videos. I don't do, is that true, dad? Now this guy, he's a man that needs no introduction. Oh, of course not. But he's Brian Gould. Part of the Gould brothers, actually. Right. Because his brother Brett is right up there. And these guys do trick farming. Uh, Brian and Brett are part of the family that we've got to meet by coming down to this event repeatedly. You guys are like third cousins, right? Yeah, something, something like yeah, that. Something. Didn't even know each other growing up. Nope. I didn't even know you existed. And now uh, we get to connect uh, almost every year and it's been a ton of fun getting to know you guys. You know, I love to see a full crowd here at the Missouri River Expo. But like half of them are family, so. <laughs> this is the most Gould children. I've had in my truck at one time. All Gould. <laughs> of course, the three in the gray shirts are Aaron, two in the back are mine. Easton and Leah are cousins. Danica's a cousin. Like I told you, ton of family out here. Hopefully they don't judge us. Better put on a good show. It's a bit breezy today.
So this might look like your average Nebraska farmhouse, but this property is very special to Aaron and I for many different reasons. You see, this house belongs to my third cousin, Brian Gould, who 10 years ago, I didn't even know existed until Aaron and I came out and actually performed a live exhibition right where this shed is. There was a soybean field right out there. We performed and it was for his uncle's 60th birthday, Dan Gould. So how in the world did we end up performing a show for distant cousins we didn't know existed? Well, let me tell you, Dennis Gould, my dad's first cousin, heard that Aaron and I were doing these exhibitions. He was part of a Christian camp called Glad Tidings. Him and Dan Gould then invited us out to do a little exhibition at one of the camps. And Dan really, really enjoyed what we did. He was a shooter. He was a big supporter of what we did after that point. That was the first time we met him. So he invited us down for his 65th birthday. It was a big family gathering, a lot of folks over here. And we met all these new cousins that we had never met before. Brian Gould and his wife Amy and their kids and Brett and Casey and on and on and on. A whole bunch of family. And from that moment we've come back year after year to the Missouri River Expo and got to connect with this family. Brian and I have become good friends. He's come up to Minnesota and visited several times. And I'm just so grateful for the opportunity that we've had to make new friends, connect with this other side of the family that was so distant that we really didn't know who they were. Learned so much about our heritage, our roots. It's just been an awesome, awesome adventure. And uh, I'll stop now, cause <laughs> I'll probably get a little emotional. I am getting a little emotional. Since the first time we've come down here, there's been several family members that have passed. Um, just under a year ago, Brian and Brett's and Casey's dad passed away. Uh, Keith, just a wonderful, wonderful man. Dan passed away a little over a year, year and a half ago. Dan Gould passed away. Um, very honored that we had the opportunity to purchase some of his firearms. And so part of his legacy and memory lives on through some of the firearms that we have. That A5 that was in the safe room video, I believe, was actually Dan Gould's. You look back at pictures, right? And you see how fast time goes. Now we got the Kids out there screaming and yelling, having fun. They ain't babies no more. So here's the man of the hour, Brian Gould. I was just telling him, Brian, how we had never met before. And Dan had his yeah. 60th birthday yeah, right here on this property. I said when Dan had his 60th birthday, we didn't know these guys existed and he kind of told us about them. And here they come rolling in in their fancy truck, and <laughs> whipping their, getting their guns out. They did the show and I was just kind of the sideshow. The relationship just come after that. And yeah. It was just neat getting to know these guys. Uh, Brian and his family, they're the Gould. What do you, what do you go by? Just Gould Brothers Farm. I mean. They're the Gould Brothers of Farming, right? right? Pretty much. Um, not viral on YouTube yet, uh, but. <laughs> tens and tens of views. One thing, tens and tens of views. <laughs> one thing I learned last night that I didn't know is every harvest, you guys pull up short with the combine. Yep. You don't combine at all. You pull up short, leave a few, what, a few rows? Just a few stalks last Just couple. Just a few stalks. Yep. And tell us why you do that. It was a tradition I, that was started by, by my grandpa Howard. Um, you, when you, we get done, we stop combining. We get out, we go stand in front of the combine, we pick the last couple ears by hand, you know, like they used to do, and then we just gather around and usually one of us will lead the group in prayer and we just kind of give thanks for the, the harvest, the safety of harvest, and, and, and being in agriculture, you kind of learn that truly everything does come from God. You yeah. know, the rain, um, the, the crop, the yield, everything. I mean, we, we rely on him for everything. I mean, it just kind of resets us and puts our, gets our minds right. Why, why yeah. we do what we do. Yeah. I thought that was so cool. I just wanted to share a little bit because this place has so much more meaning. You know, people see the videos and they see the stuff, mm -hmm. but they often don't see the connection and the relationship and the deeper sense of meaning behind a lot of the stuff. And so this is this uh, connection with this Gould family, the extended Gould family um, has just been one of the many blessings that, that God has given us over Aaron and I's journey through this crazy wild exhibition shooting nonsense dream <laughs> right and so praise god for that amen it is a sunday amen so we made a quick pit stop at the ponca cemetery this is simon peter balsley which would be my third great grandfather great 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 grandfather born in 1829 died in 1907 so simon peter balsley had a daughter catherine catherine married frederick Theodore Carl Christian Gould, born in 1846, 
He died in 1908. This is my great, great grandfather. So then Frederick Theodore and Catherine had my great grandpa Fred, who had my grandpa Cal, who had my dad Phil, all the way from great, great, great to my great, great to my great grandfather are all in this Ponca Cemetery. Learning about your heritage, your roots, where you come from, I think it's a humbling experience as I come to Ponca State Park, Aaron and I, and we perform this live show, this trick shooting show, in the same vicinity that so much of our family homesteaded and lived their lives, and those days have come and gone. And it makes you again realize how quick it all goes, that we are just here for a moment. And it makes me wanna live a little bit more in the moment, it makes me wanna enjoy those closest to me, the family and friends, and just breathe it in. It's day two of Missouri River Expo, and look who showed up. It is Me. the dad, the father. Hey. Your dad grew up in this area. Oh yeah. We went up to the Ponca Cemetery today. Okay. Oh, okay. And so looked at the graves all the way back to, I think the oldest ancestor in Ponca Cemetery is Simon Peter Balsley. Yeah. Which would be my great, great, great grandfather, That's third right. grade. Yep. And so just been sharing a little bit about that and uh, uh, the show yesterday got several of the cousins on camera and different stuff. Oh, okay. So tell me one thing that stands out in your mind about the Ponca Newcastle, Northeast Nebraska area. This place here might have been a landing at one time and I know they brought up goods up out of Sioux City to here and, and my great grandfather had a, a store in Ponca. My dad always talked about the Cretan land, the land that would come and go with the river. Accretion? Yeah, this is because uh, it kind of erodes and then deposits and... Right. All right, day two, time to get set up. What was your favorite part of Missouri River Expo? Um, probably the rock wall and your guys' shows. Awesome. What was your favorite part, Dakota? Um, I think both of what Chris said. <laughs> what was that? Both things Tristan said. Probably the walk, rock wall, your guys' show, and the sand pit. Favorite three things. Okay, what's your favorite thing, Ry? Uh, probably watching the show where they like taught us about electricity. Oh, and they shocked that hot dog and it starts yeah, on fire? Yeah, throwing the spears. You just... Oh, the Addle Addle. Yeah, yeah, yeah Addle Addle. What was your awesome. favorite part, Allie? Aurora. Of Missouri River Expo. Dippin' Dots and Rock Line. Dippin' oh, yeah, Dots. So that's Missouri River Expo. We had a great time. Glad you could join us for this awesome adventure. Dad, glad you could stop by. Hey, yeah. It's always so much fun coming back down here. Remember, it's impossible to get the shots you never take. So pull the trigger and shoot for your dreams. See ya!